Dear friends, good morning. Welcome to Coffee with God. And I am Father Jose. Let us begin this day with the word of God and a short reflection. May the Holy Spirit illumine our hearts and minds and burn us with the fire of God's love. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 4, verses 1 to 13. The passage is taken from the message version of the Bible. Now Jesus, full of the Holy Spirit, left the Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wild. For forty wilderness days and nights he was tested by the devil. He ate nothing during those days, and when the time was up, he was hungry. The devil, playing on his hunger, gave the first test. Since you're God's son, command this stone to turn into a loaf of bread. Jesus answered by quoting dear Deuteronomy, It takes more than bread to really live. For the second test, he led him up and spread out all the kingdoms of the earth on display at once. Then the devil said, They're yours in all their splendor to serve your pleasure. I'm in charge of them all and can turn them over to whomever I wish. Worship me and they're yours. The whole works. Jesus refused, again backing his refusal with dear Deuteronomy. Worship the Lord your God and only the Lord your God. Serve him with absolute single-heartedness. For the third test, the devil took him to Jerusalem and put him on the top of the temple. He said, if you are God's son, jump. It's written, isn't it, that he has placed you in the care of angels to protect you. They will catch you. You won't so much as stub your toe on a stone. Yes, said Jesus, and it's also written, Don't you dare tempt the Lord your God. That completed the testing. The devil retreated temporarily, lying in wait for another opportunity. Reflections on the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 4, verses 1 to 13. Every year as Lent begins, we reflect on the temptations of Jesus, lest we run the risk of making choices contrary to those indicated by the Word of God. We all experience this inner conflict, which St. Paul in chapter 7 of Letter to the Romans says, I am not doing what I want to do, but what I detest. This inner conflict between good and evil the spirit and the flesh is a reality. We find this conflict in the life of Jesus. In the baptism scene of Jesus, a voice was heard saying, You are my son, the beloved. It is the voice of recognition and assurance from the Father. However, soon after, the evangelist would present the temptations of Jesus in the desert. The devil deceives and questions the very assurance Jesus received from the Father. If you are the Son of God, that's the question. Jesus' journey into the wilderness recalls the exodus where the people of Israel spent 40 years in the desert. 40 indicated the period of a whole generation. And now, Jesus spent 40 days in the desert, indicating the number of his whole lifetime. In this world, Jesus experienced all the necessities of biological life. He hungered for bread, water, shelter, clothing, social relationships, and good health. From this hunger for material food and goods arises the temptation. The temptation was to satisfy the human hunger and to prove before the world that he was the Son of God. The world wants a God that satisfies the hunger for food, house, health, profession, success and being well. If you place your abilities at the service of people's material needs, everyone will love you because people want this and nothing else. We experience the same proposition today. The devil would tell us that everybody will consider us a God provided you help them fulfill their hunger. If not, you are a nobody. 
and this voice is very strong how often do we hear people say i prayed i am not cured so why should i pray and why should i believe jesus's response to this evil voice is to focus on the life that does not require material bread be nourished with the word with the wisdom of god that comes from heaven lent is a precious time to reflect on how we relate to the goods of this world either as believers or as pagans who only believe in material life let us then ask ourselves if certain expenses are compatible with the choice of the gospel certain investments certain fabulous sums left as an inheritance to our children certain pleasure trips certain bank accounts let us be careful to be content with the daily bread so that all may have what is necessary to live and we defeat the temptation to accumulate goods